I'm from a city like no other place. If you ain't talking money, son, get out of my face. When a plane land, I'm at John F. Kennedy. Hand in the sky like the Statue of Liberty. BK Stay, Bronx, New York, you know we get it off. Queens, Manhattan, BK Stay, Bronx, New York. When we decided on the name, it was intentional. Like, we run Brownsville, meaning that we wanted to run, start, create in our own communities. I just want to be real clear that it is not about the running, it's about that connection. It's about knowing that there is a, another Black woman that genuinely cares for the way that you are a growing up being in this community and that we got your back. I don't have to shrink. I don't have to code switch. I ain't got to make it nice. I ain't right. got to make it polite. I don't have to make myself different yep. to make you feel better about who I am. Right. Unapologetically <laughs> for Black women, period. I see you. I see you. I see you. So, and I got you. And I got you. Brownsville, now that Karini Green <laughs> is no more, has the highest concentration of public housing in the country. 18 public housing developments on just over two square miles of land. We started this running group. We cannot have women learning how to run, looking, looking for potholes. Mm -hmm. And so Dion and I started getting in touch with the parks department, like what's going on? First, it was about cleaning up and taking care of the space because that's what we were about, care. So once we started to do that, now we're like, okay, so now what, what are elected officials doing? Commissioner Silva came to Betsy Head Park. Mm -hmm. um, he emailed us and was like, I am personally embarrassed by the condition of this park. And then he introduced us to the commissioner of Brooklyn. Right, my old Marty Marr. Yes, Marty Marr <laughs> is what we call him. And so, so he started sending us layouts of the park. What do you guys think we need in the park? We, we've been on that committee, on that, those conversations ever since then. And so when we got to the park, we're like, what an amazing feeling that this feels open and welcoming and now. And accessible. And accessible to everybody. The Brownsville Plan is an initiative that solicited direct feedback mm -hmm. from the community about development of vacant lots within the neighborhood. The Christopher Glenmore site will be the home of the Brownsville Hub, and the theme is innovation and entrepreneurship. We're also going to own and operate the first spa in Brownsville. Yeah. Because why can't we have this? Why does it have to take right. five years right. for something to happen right. when we have people, us, that want to do the work? Right. It right. should take that long. We have a man that said that he wanted to see something good for Brownfield, that he needs to turn around and sit down and come to the table as well. Exactly. I mean, he know how to come to get votes. Right. So come out and hear what we need. When I think about Black women, I think about we have the power to hold everybody. And can't nobody hold us but us, like yeah. in a real kind of way. The, the things that we leave are unspoken. Mm -hmm. The things that we get from each other yeah. are unspoken. But it's palpable, it's tangible, you can touch it, you can yeah. feel it, that energy. Yeah, and having sisters and yes. mothers and daughters yes. and, and all those kind of, and grandmas, it's just really a good thing. <laughs> Every time our feet hit the pavement, it is a protest. Every time we enter a race, it is pushing back against systems that aren't built for us. Mm -hmm. So every time we gather in the park like we did as a group, it is a real resistance for me. Mm -hmm. And so every time our shoes hit the pavement, it's not just about the running. 